Hello students of class 3 Central Modern School. Welcome to English Tube class. I am Oyen Vilya Bose and I will take your English Tube class today. Today's video will go with the lesson note which you will get on 13th August. You can see the video in the video gallery. Today children, we will continue with the poem Just Imagine. We have started this poem in our previous class and in the previous class we did the first three stances. Today I shall teach you the fourth and the fifth stanza of the poem. Before I start the class, let us recapitulate. What did we learn in the previous class, children? This poem, just imagine, we know is based on the, a child's imagination. In this poem, in the first stanza, the child imagines the crocodiles brushing their teeth day and night and the child wonders how many toothbrushes the crocodiles would need to keep their teeth sparkling white. In the second stanza, the child imagines the huge elephants using handkerchiefs during um, using handkerchiefs when they have cold. The poet imagines the elephants taking out handkerchiefs to cover their mouth every time they sneeze. And the child imagines what a difficult task it would be for the elephants to wash, iron and fold all those hankies. In the third stanza, the child again imagines the tall giraffes wearing ties to school just the way he does and the child imagines what would happen to those long ties of the giraffes when the wind blew. The, the ties would then swing and sway in the breeze. So now let, children, let's read the fourth stanza. If centipedes had to wear boots with laces, all fastened and tied up tight, just imagine what a tangle of legs there would be if one of those laces wasn't done up right. Centipede is an insect children having hundred legs. Now, the child imagines the centipede wearing boots on all those hundred legs and the boots are tight, tightly tied up. They are tied up. Now, the child imagines if one of the lace got untangled or if one of the lace got loose, then what would happen to the centipede? What would happen? If one lace got loose, then the, la then the legs would get all mixed up and tangled up together and the centipede would not be able to move at all. Okay? Here children, come look at this word F-A-S-T-E-N-E-D Fastened means tied. Next, T A N G L E, tangle. Tangle means mixed up or twisted. Mark these words in your book, children. Learn their meanings and the spellings. Now, let's come to the next answer. If children like me had wings like birds with which we could fly. 
and soar up high. Just imagine how many children there would be zooming about in the sky. Now, I'm sure this stanza, children, is your favorite stanza in this poem. Yes. Now here, the child imagines children having wings just like birds. Then what would happen if the child had wings? Then the child would fly and soar high up in the sky. And if all children had wings, then the sky would be full of children flying all about the sky, all zooming in the sky and having a wonderful time. Children, would you like to fly? Yes, all of you. I'm sure all of you, sometimes or the other, you want to become a bird and fly out, isn't it? Fly here and there, especially when you have lots of homework, isn't it? Don't you feel like flying in the sky and having a nice time? Now, let us come back to the poem. Over here, children, look at this word. S-O-A-R. Soar. Soar means to rise, to fly high. Now, Z-O-O-M-I-N-G. Zooming. Zooming here means flying. Now mark these words. Learn their spellings. Learn their meanings. That brings us to the end of the poem. Children, please learn the poem. Whatever work is there in the worksheet, please do the work in your English 2 exercise book. Learn the spellings. Learn the meanings. Learn the poem with proper punctuation. That's, that brings us to the end of today's class, children. Stay safe. Take care. Thank you, children.